Today I'm going to be bringing you my best Dragon's Dogma 2 Mystic Spear Hand build. This is going to be my S tier build for this vocation. It's definitely one of my favourite vocations in the game and I would argue one of the best vocations in the game in terms of damage, manoeuvrability and overall and most importantly, fun. This is a really, really cool class with a lot of good aspects to it, and I'm going to show you the build that I use for this. Now, of course, the gear will be slightly different depending on what you've actually got hands on with, but I'm going to show you the abilities, what augments I like to run, what gear I've actually got on so that you can get an idea of this, the stats that go with it, and of course, some tips and tricks for the class as well. If you do enjoy, drop me a subscribe and a like down below, and let's jump into it. So firstly, you of course want to have the Mystic Spear hand selected and unlocked. If you do want to find out how to unlock it, there is a video here on the channel. But obviously I have this vocation at max level. This is a very, very fun one. I've used this quite a lot. Now the other vocations that I'm going to be using ornaments from are things like the Warrior and the Fighter, as well as a bit of Thief stuff as well. So it's worth noting that if you've got different augments from different ones that you want to mix in and out. I'm going to give you my optimum setup, but it depends on what you've leveled up and what you prefer to use. So starting off then with the weapon skills, as this is going to be universal for everybody, we can all get the same weapon skills. Firstly, we're going to have Dragon's Foin here, or Dragon's Foin. This one is a fantastically fun ability. Essentially what you will do is use the spear and dive towards a target when you use this ability, and it inflicts magic damage as well as the physical damage. So this is great, it does a hybrid damage attack, and it gives you some fantastic movement potential. Of course, you can fly towards targets, but you can also use it to reposition on the battlefield and move out of the way of some heavy attacks of the bosses so this is a fantastic ability to have all around i then pair this with wild fury which is of course the maester's teaching for the vocation of the mystic spear hand this one unleashes a relentless flurry of slashes and magical attacks additional button presses continue the onslaught by consuming stamina now i'm going to go over some really crucial tips for this in just a few moments time here in the video but when i talk about the dragon forge later on it's really important for this particular maester this teaching as it does use a lot of stamina it's a fantastic ability though and will do some great damage especially when you are on those enemy bosses weak spots when you're trying to take them down on the drakes or the ogres or the chimeras or whatever you're fighting this is a really really good ability to do a lot of damage quickly essentially double damage because you've got a shadow form of yourself now then on the f i like to use this one here which is the ski dragoons feste or fest, however you want to say that. It's basically an ability that allows you to jump up in the air and stab down. Now it inflicts magic damage as well and you can use it to dodge attacks as well as inflict damage and particularly things like saurians where you're trying to get the tail rather than the actual front of them. You can use this to flip over and it will often connect with the weak spot there which is really really good and it does give you an extra bit of maneuverability and like I say there and effectively a dodge which can be really useful. Finally then we've got magic spiragnome here which is basically a bolt attack you charge up this bolt use as much stamina as you want the longer you charge it the more damage it deals but of course leaves you with less stamina at the end of it this is another candidate for something you can use the dragon forge upgrade on if you want to especially if you're not running both wild fury and this particular magic spear gun but for me, I like running both of them. This one, you can choose the amount of stamina, so it can actually be really useful just to take down some flying targets if you can't hit them with your Dragon's Foin. But this is a fantastic ability, does a lot of damage, is a really good ranged output for the Mystic Spear Hand, so I would definitely recommend running this. Now, if you don't want to use this one, another good candidate that I have seen people using is the Swift Charge, which consumes health and stamina to instantly charge your Forbidding Bolt to maximum. Can be useful, but I don't like the idea of the health that it does take it's up to you if you do want to use it though as you can see on the video that kind of plays in the game here if you are using it it only takes away from your current health not your maximum health so you can be healed back up for the amount it does charge so it's another option instead of the magic spear gun if you do want to use that so on the core skills front what you want to do is essentially use your scattering bolt here which is going to be your forbidding bolt which is your right click attack and what this will do is scatter to other enemies and allow you to stun multiple targets in a group really good for goblins hobgoblins camps of small kind of creatures that can stun multiple of also really good against harpies that sort of thing quick fought will allow you to then teleport to the target you have stunned or targets that you've stunned so again really really useful for diving around giving you some fantastic mobility in the fight you've got here ferine bolt this one extends the effectiveness of the redoubted bolt so essentially you can have almost a range stun 
attack with this and you can fire the bolt as many times as you want obviously if you charge it up it fully stuns targets but you can cause a bit of knockback with the regular ones especially versus those littler weaker foes and then winding cut now this one's fantastic it essentially gives you the whirlwind you can see in the video on the screen there that basically keeps attacking the target again if you get onto a target's weak spot and activate this it is absolutely phenomenal damage so you certainly want to have these skills equipped moving on to augments then i'm going to pick up polarity as my first one this is actually from the mystic spear hand vocation augments your strength during the day and your magic at night both of these things are really really good for the mystic spear hand hence why it's in this category of their own augments but it is a very strong augment to have on and it's certainly very useful for other potential vocations you want to run in the future as well next one you want to have on here is athleticism this one reduces stamina consumed while dashing otherwise known as running so this is just going to be great all around for getting around the map faster into fights faster repositioning all that good stuff and then running metal from the fighter class which augments your physical defense always a great one to have then i'm running gratification from the thief which slightly restores your health when you deliver the killing blow to a foe this one's fantastic really good for sustain in the fights and then running vitality from the warrior which increases your maximum health and finally i am running pertinacity from the warrior which improves your ability to break through your opponent's guard again particularly useful against the bosses there is obviously a lot of other things you could run if you wanted to swap out something for maybe opulence if you wanted to get a bit more gold or even refugence here if you do want to get some more rift crystals you could of course run tons of other augments from different vocations but as i've been leveling up i've been trying to unlock the certain ones that i want for this build and this is kind of where i've shaped it at right now it's got great survivability great damage great mobility which makes it a lot of fun to play so this is the setup that i run so quickly going through the weapons we've got the lind worm fang this one is available in the unmod world and then obviously in new game plus after this point from the dragonborn npc it is the weapon that they have there could be some better ones around on the map but this is the best one i have found so far so this is what i've used really decent knockdown power on top of that it's got great strength great magic and of course you can upgrade this with whatever forges you want currently on this i have reforged it once just vermundium which gives me strength and magic a couple more slots available on there to upgrade this one as well and then of course dragon forge at the end to make this even better i'm then running the dragon knight's helmet again available from the dragon forged npc and the Prowlika Chief, which I've found on a chest around the map. A lot of you will probably already have this item. Really quite cool because you wear this at the same time as a helmet. And it does give you some defensive stats as well as some debilitation resistance. Then we've got the Duelist's Coat on here. Again, you guessed it, from the Dragonforged NPC. Most of this gear is going to be from there because I haven't found anything better yet. But if you have, do let me know in the comments what you found. And finally, we are then running the Strider's Greaves. Again, Dragonforged NPC. The cape that I run is the Unitas Mantle. This one gives me some strike resistance some knockdown resistance and some magic defense and regular defense can be worn by all vocations a little bit of elemental resistance and debilitation resistance on there in terms of the ice and freezing so this is really cool and then in terms of rings i'm running the ring of profusion which moderately increases the maximum amount of weight that the wearer can carry i personally like this it makes my class run a little bit lighter and as you can see there into the light category even with a fair few curatives i mean ridiculous amount at the moment i need to get rid of some so this is really helpful i then also have the ring of vehemence there which means the wearer's attacks are more likely to stagger and knock down foes this is really useful especially if you want to upgrade your weapon with the warven to make the knockdown power higher then this can be really really useful also have on me here the ring of motility if you are fighting medusa really good because it stops you for completely getting any petrification accumulating whatsoever looking at the status here you can see i am bang on level 50 at the time of recording this and these are the stats that i've got right here so you can just have a quick little look at these as i'm going to talk about some other bits and bobs here as well but this just gives you a bit of an idea of what you want to run and what it could look like if you have similar gear and a similar level to me with the vocation now if you are in the end game stage in the unmod world or you are in new game plus you'll be able to come to this dragon forged npc and there's a couple of really important things that you want to be doing for any build that you run but specifically for the mystic spear hand and these are going to be to improve your skills now you can of course improve the vocation as well I would definitely recommend doing this if you're going to be using it as your main vocation for the time being it does cost you 20 worm life crystals so if you don't have those you may want to go out and kill a couple of drakes in order to get them and but the most important thing you can do is improve your skill and what you want to do is go across to the mystic spear hand 
and pick up the skill that you use the most that is costing you the most stamina. Now for me, Wild Fury is definitely the one that you want to be doing if you are going to be using this because it means you can actually effectively use this ability to clear out not only the boss monsters much quicker and for much longer of a duration, meaning sometimes you can kill them with just this ability spammed a few times over, but also means when you've got smaller packs of the smaller monsters, you can actually kill a few of them in one go without running out of stamina too quickly, so I really like this, but whatever you're going to use as your main kind of ability for damage, I would recommend doing again this does cost you 20 worm life crystals so do consider that before making your way over to the dragonforged npc of course you want to dragonforge all of your gear as soon as you are able to because this will give you a massive massive boost not to mention it will actually half the weight of all of your equipment as well meaning that you can be more agile and have more stamina with your class and as you can see here, here is the Lindworm Fang that I'm using, as well as all of the other gear on the other tabs. But just to confirm, that is where you can get them from, the Dragon Forged NPC. Now additionally to this, just as a quick little extra tip, you can get Experience Increase for a day, Discipline Increased for a day, stamina increase for a day or being able to raise people's affinity with you quicker for a day all of these things you can get from the dragon forged npc and if you are trying to level up the mystic spear hand in order to be able to use it quicker and you are in new game plus then you can go ahead for 30 worm life crystals and increase your discipline gain for a day which will mean you can level it up slightly faster it is quite expensive and it does only last for one in game day so it's not actually amazing but if you've got some extra crystals lying around this is a really nice extra benefit that you can make use of as well so that is pretty much going to be it for my build here my s tier build on the mystic spear hand vocation in dragon's dogma great fun great damage high mobility really fantastic class that gives you a lot of potential for damage and also survivability which is great great stuff if you did enjoy the video do drop me a like down below and a subscribe both of those things massively help me out and i'll catch you again very shortly in a brand new upload so take care and peace